and online by find somebody that has a whole bunch of these things for a couple hundred bucks, buy them, and then sell as many as I need to sell in order to make up the amount that I bought them for and come out even, right? That's my plan. It's always my plan when I buy any RC stuff. If I pay cash for one, I just sell things until I get my money back. And you believe it or not, in uh, the local app and stuff, it's pretty easy to do. Um, so, I bought, I didn't buy, I traded. Like, where in the shop? I found some old amplifiers, found some old stuff that I didn't need, and I only traded that. fixing these slowly one time. I think I've only fixed five or six of these, and I've taken a flight controller out of one, put in the jet, and recycled parts, and transmitters, and receivers, and all kinds of stuff. There's like literally $6,000 worth of equipment sitting here that I traded a guy some stuff that I just need to get rid of for. That's the way I roll. People are like, how do you afford this hobby and buy stuff? And yeah, don't. I don't. I can't. I literally just trade stuff. There's a CNC prop, uh, prop maker. Uh, this Cessna is actually fully autonomous. That's part of the video that we never got. That uh, I actually demoed at one of the the, the cool uh, events here with RC Hobby stuff. That was pretty fun to show people. Get that thing in there and just let it fly. The plan was to get the fully autonomous airplane there, and the day before the event, we crashed it. It actually crashed itself from a software bug. That's that one up there. So instead, I brought that one. And again, that's that 300 gigabyte worth of footage I have. I, 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 I don't have time. I don't have time to edit this stuff. I just don't have time. So anyway. There's your overview. So a few takeaways from this video. Watch out for the Sarah Gordo run video next year. That's gonna be awesome. And let me know if you want like weekly snippets, even like shorts, something quick, just to say how my week was for training, how I feel, if I'm motivated or demotivated. And you guys can encourage me to keep going because honestly, I'm gonna need that. It's a lot of work. Um, the target retrieval system stuff that I'm working on, been a long project. There's so much more details there, but I don't technically own that, so I can't go into crazy details. I can't even show you the hardware and stuff because they own it. I probably could, nobody would yell at me, but I'd rather not. I really don't want to get in trouble for that. Cairo Space, that's been a huge startup project. It's been pretty fun. Um, kind of took a little break there for a little bit. Funding was like non existent. So now we're just getting by the bottom barrel and we're, we're making it. We're getting there. It's going to be awesome. CNC business, that's going to be fun. But that's sort of a brand new adventure for me and I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, the Leaf's been a cool project because um, I've actually been trying to figure out a way to put new batteries in there or stuff like that. So there's a pretty cool app. It's called Leaf Spy. And it actually shows you like the battery, the battery percentage, all the cells. Um, it's got like a whole really cool, like, interactive sort of thing that you can see change settings on here. So it's called Leaf Spy.